this is Excel chapter 1 L uh, mod 1b file save as Kelly is a senior in college and has a part-time job where she tutors students in math, physics, and chemistry. She's interested in analyzing the earnings for this job during the first three quarters of the year. Open the job analysis worksheet. Auto fit contents of column A. Select cell A1 and enter the following. Center. Apply the heading. Apply the heading one style. Enter the revenue. Enter the text revenue in cell A2. Merge cells A2 to D2. Clear the contents of E3. Enter the, the data shown in table 1 below into the B6, range B6 through D6. tab merge and center range A9 to D9 select the range B11 to D B11 of B14 B11 to B14 accounting two decimal places the expenses table shows Kelly's expenses for her math, physics, and chemistry classes so far she wants to calculate the total expenses that she incurred over the three quarters by adding up the total expenses for each quarter so we're going to add that we're going to do a sum of B14 to D14. Highlight the cell function sum and select each cell. Hit OK. Update the forward formatting of the merged range A16 to D16. Bold the contents, change the font to Calibri, text the font to 13, and the cut font color to green, accent 6. darker 25 percent. Kelly was offered another job recently. She had a strong passion for teaching but she also wanted to make a wise financial decision. She will continue tutoring only if she has she only that the profit has increased per quarter. In cell B18 
Create a formula that calculates the total profit earned by subtracting the total expenses in B14 from the total revenue. So we're going to do another. So we're going to do equal. B7 minus B14. And we're going to autofill over. Change the tab color, job analysis. To blue. Select the cluster, cl custom column chart. Change the start chart style and the cluster column start style to Move the chart to its own chart. Q1 dash Q3 Switch back to the job analysis worksheet. Select the non-adjacent ranges A11 to A13. Hit the control button because you're, you're going to be selecting D11 through D13. And then create a 2D pie chart. Title placeholder expenses in qu quarter three. Change chart style to to style three. Move the chart to its own chart. Save file. Exit and submit.